All right, shalawam, shalawam, first and foremost. I'd like to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Mohav, Akav, Badash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. So, lucky about the screen, it's a bit blurry. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai. In who I reverence and honor to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit. Let me move this out of the way. And shout out to the hopeful elect that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. And I want to say, Tawadi Yahawa. For allowing me to minister to the elect in hopes that they will be saved within these last days. Because man, we're near the end. A few more prophecies and that's it. We just need to endure. There's a lot of spiritual warfare going on. Right? We need to stay focused. Right? There's a lot of distractions. Satan's coming heavy, but we just need to endure and as long we, as long as we endure or oh, that crown is laid up for you Let me tell you that that crown is there <laughs> Right, okay That's all we need to do Right, don't focus on what these people are doing. They're trying to get you distracted They're just deep. Don't worry about what they're doing. Focus on your how shy Yeah, every corner you go they're gonna be there. Don't focus on them Focus on your how shy focus on this word and that's it Right, they want your attention, don't give them your attention. Right, focus on your Hawa Shai. Right, because we know they're going to be destroyed. Right, they want to be robots. Right, for the Matrix, we'll let them be robots for the Matrix. Just know your Hawa is going to destroy them. Okay, <laughs> hey, bear with it. Hey, bear with it. There's just there's a lot of things going on, a lot of spiritual things. This is Matthew 6. Right, and go straight to 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. So, we're not supposed to be doing that. Laying up treasures upon earth, right? Where moth and rust are corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. So, in terms of carnal treasures, we're not supposed to be doing that. We're supposed to be laying up spiritual treasures, right? Spiritual, because we're spiritual beings. Right, and we're supposed to be spiritually minded, so that's what we do. We lay up spiritual treasures, which is this word. Right, see, another robot. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, bro? The way this system is, bro, this place is done. This place is done. Once you see what people are doing, once you clock on this place, it's, it's finished. The matrix is based, it's based on your energy. It's based on what you put into it. This this what this system's based on. It's based upon what you put into it. And once you remove yourself, it's like they hate that. It's like Neo, you are the one. You're the one. That's how it is. Right? They're not the one. Right? They're the agents in the matrix. They represent the eight agents in the matrix. They represent the ones that are trying to hold you back, that are trying to stop you. That's what they are. Right, go to Matthews 6 and 19 and may rough stuff corrupt and may thieves break through and still. So we're not supposed to be laid up treasures, right? Up on earth where rough rust and muff does corrupt. Right? We're supposed to be laying up them them spiritual treasures. Right? Them spiritual treasures. And what's that? This word. This lesson I'm doing right now, this is a treasure. And Lord willing, this the angels will bring this up to Yahweh Shai. Right? These people they're on a low level spiritually, they're on a very, very, very low level. Right? And it gets to the point where stop feeding into them. They don't exist. They're not there. Right? And that's how you that's how you have to approach this truth. They don't exist. They're nobodies. Stop giving this matrix all your energy. Because that's what it needs. And it needs negative energy. Not just any negative energy. 
And if they can get you in a negative spirit, then therefore they can bring some forth of demonic possession your way. Be very wise on how you're feeling, controlling your emotions and what you do. Don't be emotionally triggered, right? Because they want you to, right? This is spiritual. I don't know what's happening to brothers all across the world. All these different things, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, for where your treasure is, I'm moving too fast, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. That's what I'm doing. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Right? Laying up them spiritual treasures. Right? Between us and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what we're supposed to be laying up. I'm not worrying about what this world's doing. This world, what, what are you going to realize? This world, it's on a low level. Low. Low vibrational. The Lord wants us to be higher thinkers. Not just focusing on the present, what we see here. The here and now. They want you to be focused on the here and now. Right? And when you're focused on the here and now, you can't see beyond that. When you're focused on the here and now. And it says, Baba Kasha. And where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So based on what you value, right? What you're valuing, that's where your heart's going to be. If you value this rubbish, what you see around here, that's where your heart's going to be. Right? But if you value the truth, whew, well, that's where your heart's going to be. And they know, these people know. They know every single day, not to bolster brag, they know every single day, it's like they already know what I'm going to be doing. They know I'm going to be teaching the words. Right? And that's why they, they that's why they stalk you. Because they know you're going to be teaching the word. They know you have a passion for your shy, And they don't. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. And it says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So what we treasure the most, that's where our heart will be. So we want our heart to be in the right place. That word for heart is mind, by the way. We want our mind to be focused on the truth. And that's it. Nothing else. The truth. On your have a shy. Right? Because we can't be lukewarm. We can't be halfway. Satan wants us to be halfway. Right? Satan doesn't want you to be all the way in. Right? And it says. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. The light of the body is the eye. If the eye be single. This is Yahawashai speaking. So what I see to be single on Yahawashai. Right? Single. Right? The whole body shall be full of light. Bro, your whole body, you're going to emanate that light. It's going to emanate from you. People are going to see it. People are going to be drawn towards it. If your whole body shall be full of light. That's if your eye is single. So knowing that, what does that mean? We want our eyes to be single. On Yahweh Shai. On that prize. Right? On the mission at hand. Right? Like I said, don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Because if they're not following Yahweh Shai, guess what they have coming to them? Death. Right? Don't worry about what they're doing. Focus on Yahweh Shai. Keep your eyes single. And everything else will be, will be fine. Right? Because the moment you, you're distracted and you're not focused on your Hawa Shai, that's when you sink, that's when you lose faith. Remember, I'm just giving you tips. Remember, they need your attention. They need it. And a lot of stuff they're doing, they don't even want to do it. They don't even want to do it. But remember, remember, they sold their soul, right? They done a deal with their enemy. So, <laughs> so now they have to. Right? A sad existence, right, for them. A good existence for us. Bro, you got people selling out left, right, and center taking deals. Right? Don't let no one pressure you. If you want to wake up at 6 o'clock, you wake up at 6 o'clock. You want to wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, you wake up at 8 o'clock. You want to wake up at 9 o'clock, you don't have a handler telling you to get up at this time. They do. They do. Right? And a lot of the time I wake up. I oh know I'm, st I'm still in bed, right? I'm just thinking, meditating upon the day. 
So don't think, oh, he's laying down. Right, these people are carnal, but you know what? The Lord's going to judge them. Right? Yeah, he is judging them right now. Because what they're doing is, is reprobate. It's reprobate. You're dealing with a bunch of reprobates that are void of judgment. Right? That's what you're dealing with. It's beautiful. John 8, 32, and you shall know the truth. And the truth shall what? Make you free. Excuse me just a minute. The truth shall make you free. Free from what? Free from the Levitical um, bondage of the Pharisees. Right? And, which was, which was a yoke. And free from what? Free from the deception of this system. The lies. Right? Excuse me just a minute. Right? Yeah, no, look. They probably thought I was going to this town centre today. No. you got to switch it up on them. To show them they're not too wise. Excuse me. And you know, bro, I always say you have some heavy anointing. Heavy, 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 heavy anointing. When people want to come around you. Right? And they know, they know there's something different about you. Right? They know you're different. They know you don't follow the crowd. Right? All these people, they're following the crowd. Right? That's what they're doing. Okay, Baba Kasha. <sighs> Baba Kasha, excuse me about it. So let's get back to where we were. Alright? Come on now. If the eye shall be single, so we want an eye to be single. On Yahweh Shai. And they're sending these honey pots out here as well. So we want our eyes to be single on Yahweh Shai. Right? The key thing. On Yahweh Shai. Okay. Our eyes need to be single focus, so we need to focus even more. Pray even more. If you are praying three times a day, pray seven times a day. But if the eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. So we don't want that. We don't want to be in that house of um Sal. Sal's eye became evil. Right? Here it is were in the war. We were in the war. David was in the war with the Philistines and Sal. But all Sal could think about was trying to take out David that's what we could think about how we could take out David King David while we're at war with the Philistines and certain men they have that same spirit certain men have that same spirit right here it is we're at war we, we're dealing with so much things and you got niggas in the truth with, with that um, mindset of Sal yeah you have the house of Sal in this as well and all they can think about is destroying their brother when we're at war we got enough to deal with already and it says Baba Kashia. but if the eye be hope, um, evil the whole body shall be full of darkness if they're light let it be darkness how great is that darkness and that's what happens to men right this, this, this is what happens because they're not focused you know they go two days and it becomes five days then it becomes a week then it becomes two weeks and Yahweh Shai is no longer on their mind anymore. They're no longer thinking about Yahweh Shai. Right? Then they start to turn evil. Right? And, and it gets so bad, it gets so bad, they will still believe they're somewhat in the truth and they're far from it. Far from it. The evil heart of unbelief has set in when your eye ain't single. Excuse me just a minute. Go to Hebrews, Baba Kasha. of you an evil heart an evil heart to evil mind 
right? Of unbelief. So when it talks about evil hearts, that's an evil mind of unbelief, right? When you stop believing, that can set in easy. It can happen over. It can happen overnight. Depending if you're not reading, if you're not praying, if you're not watching videos, the evil heart of unbelief that can set in. You know, it's so easy. And that's what that's where Satan wants you. That's where he wants us to be unfocused and to be thinking about the things of the world. So he will also set up people around you on demonic assignments as well. Your family members, you know, you may be cooking some food and all of a sudden they have a family member. Bro, you have a shack and see what your dumb ass is doing. They have people that are assigned to you, demonically assigned to you. But if you're in your Havashai, that can't affect you, it doesn't matter, right? We have to stay focused on the mission, right? By all means, okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, Hebrews 2 and 12, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living power. So it's so easy for that mindset to set in where you have an evil mind of unbelief, evil so easy now you don't believe what's going to happen that evil's going to set in because that's an evil mind right an evil heart of unbelief sets in right now you start looking at the brothers that do have faith and you start envying them you start doing lessons don't be too confident don't be too confident bro um confidence means with faith with faith so yes, you're supposed to be confident in your Hawa What are you talking about? Don't do too much now. We're supposed to do more. We can we can never do enough. These men are saying this because they don't have the faith to be they don't have no faith. They're faithless. These were the same men that were against your Hawa Because if you had faith, you wouldn't be saying that. You'd be telling people to do as much as you can. Do as much as you can. Do less. You want to do everything you can for your Habashai. And it says, Baba Kasha, Hebrews 3 and 13, but exhort one another daily. Daily. It's a, it's a daily thing. Alright? Let me pick up my incense. Can't really smell it. Exhort one another daily. So this is a daily thing of exhorting. Yeah, brothers, you may, you may be feeling a bit tired, weak, continuing this faith. Make sure you don't stop. Continue going. Because there is days where we're slightly weaker in the faith. It happens to all of us. But you have to keep pushing, man. Because we're not done yet. He that endure after the end, the same shall be saved. So we have to endure until the end. Then you will be saved. But if you don't endure, you ain't going to be saved. Okay? Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. It's so easy for, for us. Lest you be hardened for the deceitfulness, because sin deceits um sin deceives the mind, right? Because it may feel good to the flesh, but it deceives the mind. Lest any of you be hardened for the deceitfulness of sin. Because that's what sin does. Right? It deceives the mind. Right? It deceives the flesh as well right and that's so easy to happen because a lot of us we go off in this truth right but now if you're not examining yourself you keep going off keep going off and you think it's all right now we have to repent immediately and do the first works right for we are made partakers of mashiach if we hold the beginning of our wait that's spiritual if we be if we hold the beginning of our confidence which means with faith, the beginning of our confidence. So we're not supposed to lose that. And yes, there's going to be a lot of people, a lot, that are going to try to sway your confidence and move you in the spirit. The beginning of your confidence. So we have to keep that same confidence. You have to keep it. Right? Because remember, we're living in an unfaithful world, so... Because we're living around with people that don't have faith, they're going to be trying to shake your faith. It's just the way it goes. They see you with faith. They see you getting up every morning, 
you know, approaching the day with a good mindset, with faith. They don't have faith. So how do you think a wicked person's going to feel about them? Huh? My whole thing is, you, we keep, we gotta keep going. No excuses. You gotta keep going, right? Until you get beamed up in them chariots, or your Havisha comes back. There is no, there is no breaks. I've heard people tell me that. Why do you take a break? There is no. Well, we do take breaks, right? In terms of, well, I don't know when you're eating, when you're not. Eating, that's the only break. But this is supposed, this is supposed to occupy our whole life with this truth. This is our life, right? I don't know about you, but this is our life, right? It's supposed to be, okay? It's supposed to value this truth. And it says, Baba Kisha, the beginning of a covenant, steadfast unto the end, right? So we're supposed to be steadfast, steadfast in this truth, until the end. And what's the end? When you're beamed up in them chariots, Lord willing, or when Yahavashah comes back. I won't take no breaks. So I'm in Titus. Give me just a minute. And bro, a lot of things that happen. A lot of demonic activity. Right? A lot of witches, warlocks that want to stalk you as well. Don't, don't worry about them. <clears throat> they, what are they stalking? They're stalking your light. You know? That's what they're doing. Bro, they just walk around, right? All day, just stalking your light. Because they don't have the light, they have darkness. So these are the... These are the things that are going on, man. Right? And it's not just them, family members as well. Yeah, bro, some of our family members, they are part of that occult is bullshit. And that's why it is bullshit, excuse my language. A lot of our family members are part of that rubbish. Right? The occultic rubbish and the color coding as well, right? Okay, what does the blue mean? What does blue mean when you're wearing blue? It's what your loyalty, right? Loyalty, right? And so forth. Your loyalty to the lodge and so forth. What does red mean? Red intimidation, warfare, right? Um, what else? Sacrifice. So, bro, just be, bro. You, you have to be aware. You have to be aware of what's going on around you and what certain people are doing, right? What else? Um, the color orange, what's it? Lively, energetic. The color green is resurrection, immortality, right? Purple represents what wealth and so forth. Just be um, aware of what these people are doing because they're very demonic, very, very demonic. And even some, even yes, some of our own family members are demonic as well. They have spirits attached to them. And them spirits are trying to attack you. Right? This is, bro, this is spiritual warfare. We can't let our guards down. You have to be circumspect. Every single, every single day. Because these people are doing sneaky shit behind your back. Sneaky shit. Right? Some of them want you out of there. Some of them. Some of them want you on, on, on their side. Some of them want you out of there. Right? Where was we? Go to Titus 1, first Titus, Baba Kisha. And 6. Young men likewise exhort to be sober minded. So we have to stay sober minded. When you're sober minded, you're able to see and be circumspect of what's going on around you. So let's stay soberly minded, right? Okay. Stay soberly minded, all things showing a pattern, a pattern, right? Of good works. So we want a pattern of good work, a pattern, a constant pattern, all, all year round, all year round. And even people will see that. This matter, excuse me, I've got hiccups. This man's got a good pattern of works. That's why it says in Matthew 5 and 14, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. 
Okay. And it says, and all things showing a, thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing incorruptness, gravity, sincerity. Gravity goes into seriousness. Bro, this ain't no game. We ain't in the time of playing games. Showing gravity. Gravity is, bro, seriousness. This is serious. This ain't a game. You got these people playing games thinking this is a joke. This ain't no game. Right? This is serious business. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Verse 8, sound speech that cannot be condemned. That is, in the contrary, that they might be part ashamed. Sound speech, so our speech is sound. Right? Which cannot be condemned. Right? So our speech cannot be condemned because we're saying the right things. Okay? And it says, that he is of a contrary part may be ashamed so those that are contrary to this truth even as I said they may be ashamed so they have no choice but to look and see you know what he's just teaching this truth mind his own business that they may be ashamed contrary right so if any if anybody's gonna say anything it's not gonna be much they have to say negatively it's gonna be good things right based on what you're doing because what can they say well he's only he's standing there he teaches his word he minds his own business they can't say anything else right if you're not if you're not up to anything else that's why that's where it goes into a good report and really you want a good report with you have sure because a lot of men will bring up that scripture and they're reprobates and they guess what a lot of men will talk about a good report oh you need a good report you need a good report with men is very important listen listen you could have a good report with men, the Pharisees, but you may have a bad report with Yahweh Shai. These men, they don't, they don't really understand what this is about. And I saw this earlier on in the truth, earlier on. Men talking about good reports, good reports, right? But you may have a good report amongst men, but Yahweh Shai may see you as a wicked individual because he looks on the heart. That's what he looks on, Yahweh Shai looks upon the heart. Okay, and it says Baba Kasha, check this out, having no evil thing to say of you, no evil thing, so the people of the world, they really have nothing evil to say about you, nothing, and if they do, they have to make up stuff, it should get to that point, if they are going to say anything evil, they're going to have to make things up right and it's getting to that point as well and it says Baba Kasha exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and please them well in all things not answering again not prolonging but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of the most high our saviour in all things for the grace of our power right that bring of salvation have appeared to all men right all men teaching us that denying ungodliness right Baba Kasha, all ungodliness and worldly lust so bro these are the things we got to deny in this truth right guys look like a bunch of pedophiles right bro a lot of things are getting revealed bro a lot of things are getting revealed right a lot of these guys look like traffickers creeps Bro, there's a lot of things getting revealed. We need to expose all evil. Bro, I'm bro, I'm seeing bro. I'm you wouldn't believe what I'm seeing. I'm seeing bro. I'm seeing children being trafficked before my eyes. Trafficked. I'm seeing children being hypnotized, man. Not just children, men as well. I believe my whole um, not I wouldn't say my whole community, but most of my I don't even like using that word community because there's a demon attached to that name. I believe my whole, the neighborhoods that I'm living around. I believe most of them are hypnotized. They're under MK Ultra, you know, and they have these children on MK Ultra as well. A lot of these people are flipping traffickers, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. Right? A lot of wickedness is going on. And watch them soon, Lee, bro. I'm telling you. Don't be surprised if they put their LGBT. You know how they legalize that? Don't be surprised if they legalize pedophilia with LGBT. Don't be surprised if they do it this year and have people accepting it. Don't be surprised if they do that. Right? I'm to, bro, I'm telling you. 
Uh, bro, they're going to start doing that. Bro, that's, the, that's their agenda. That's their agenda. Right? They want to normalise that it's right for you to like younger... Well, I'm, when I'm talking about younger... See, there's a difference between a younger woman. 16, 15... And I don't know, you're how old? 20 or whatever. That's something else. Right? Because that was happening in 16. I'm talking about, no, no. They're trying to normalise you. Young. They're trying to normalise that. Right? That's why this place has to be... This place has to be taken out. This place has to be taken out. And this is what these people are doing. They're trying to... They're trying to... What's the word? What's the word? Sensitise you to... Maybe it's alright. No, it's not alright. No, it's not. Right? So, this, this place is, is, is getting wicked. It's just like the times of Sodom and Gomorrah. And in the times of Sodom and Gomorrah, there was young, there was old, there was mid-age, and they were partaking in that. And that's why the earth had to be destroyed. Same way it's going to be destroyed today. Because wickedness is increasing. Wickedness is increasing. Right? On a high scale. A, ch a, ch a child can't think for itself. A child needs his thinking done for them. A child is supposed to be looked after until they get to a certain age. I feel sorry for some of these um, children that are in social care, social serv social um, services, these care networks, right? Because there's a link. There's a link between these care networks <coughs> and so forth. Excuse me, all right? These care networks, these care homes, and so forth. It's all linked up. And Tavistock, it's all linked up. Right? This is a sick society, man. Sick. Right? Real sick. And it says, Baba Kasha, where was we? And we should live soberly. So we deny worldly lust. Bro, as a man, you'd be lying if you said you didn't have um, urges, desires. No, we do, but our desire is supposed to be to the kingdom. We're supposed to denying worldly lust. And once you do that, bro, Satan's going to come after you, man. Constantly. Constantly. Right? Pure temptations, man. In this truth. Pure temptations. Nothing but, temp nothing but temptations. And you got to resist the temptations, man. Resist the devil and he shall flee. Right? Yeah, there's a spiritual target on our back, man. There's spiritual targets on our back. Right? And it says, Who gave himself for us that we might redeem us from all iniquity. I'm moving too fast. Looking for that blessed hope. Right? And glorious appearing of the great power and our Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So that's the expectation, man. Don't lose that expectation. Please don't lose that faith. I'm speaking for myself. Do not lose that faith. Keep that faith, right? The expectation, right? That we are looking for, right? That righteous hope. You gotta keep that hope, keep hope alive, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, and who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Is that zealous of good works to them? Zealous. You have to be on fire for the truth. Bro, there's no in between. There's no in between. You got men, men dilly you got men dilly dallying with this truth. Just dilly dallying. You know? They don't really want to do it. Bro, if every lesson you do, if every lesson you do, if five out of it's like it, if three out of five lessons you do, it's always you're always saying. Just go back in the fucking world. Don't come around brothers. Don't don't come around. Just go back into the world. And, and pray that Yahweh has mercy on you. Rather than coming to the truth. But you don't really want to do this thing. You just acting. Right? And I've seen it bro. I'm not going to call no names. Bro I've seen this from years ago. And that's what I'm saying. Not to brag. Not to boast. My discernment is pretty much. When it comes to certain things in character and sense of things, my discernment is on key. Yahabashah, bless me with higher levels of discernment. 
you still got men, they don't really want to do this. So if you don't want to do this, at least have some mental fortitude to say, you know what? You don't want to do it, you've prayed, you're still not there. And may, may the Lord may have mercy upon you. But at least be honest. But you're going to have men that fake the funk until they get destroyed. That's why the scripture says there's false brethren amongst us. They were false brethren that have crept in unawares. They crept in. They were unaware of what it really takes to push this truth. Right? It just takes dedication. It takes a great deal of sacrifice. Right? And courage, man. Especially when most people around you don't believe. That takes a great deal of courage. Right? And another thing as well, you've got to separate yourself from these people. Right? You're around negative energies. You've got to get away from that. Separate yourself. Take some time out alone to build up on yourself and Yahweh Shai to build up that relationship. Right? That's why the scripture says work at your own salvation with fear and trembling. Fear. Right? It's supposed to be fearing. What do you think this thing is? Treating this like this is some holiday camp. Right? This is serious business, man. This is, I mean, ought to treat it that way. This is serious business. These things speak and exhort. That's what I'm doing right now. I'll just fly over this bit. These things speak and exhort. Right? And it's terrible. Even some of the things I'm seeing. you got men um, doing videos on your... I'm talking about elders doing videos on your Shah's crucifixion and laughing. And laughing. Bro, some of the things I'm seeing, some of the things I'm seeing. But if you were against your habit, like this is what I'm saying, if you were against your habit back then, you're going to be against him again today. It's just as simple as that. Right? If you were against him back then, you're going to be against him again. Okay? Just the way it is. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Ooh. These things speak and exhort. So we speak these words and we exhort each other as well. With all authority. Right? And it's that men. I notice men don't want you to have that authority. Right? So they try to take that away. Oh, don't be too confident. Don't do this. And every time you show a bit of confidence, what do men do? Do a lesson. Oh, don't be proud. Bro, no, no, no. It's just that you might not have the confidence. That's all. Exalt with all authority. That authority comes with confidence, not 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 pride. They'd be saying the same thing to Yahweh if he was here right now, which he is. But they'd be saying the same thing. Yahweh he's proud. Paul, he's proud. Paul wasn't proud. Paul was confident and humble because of because he was persecuting the church prior to that. Right. But once you see what Yahweh has done for us in this truth, bro, if you knew what Yahweh has done for certain brothers, that's going to bring you, bro. It's going to bring you a high level of confidence. All the situations he's got you out of. All the stumbling blocks. How he built you up. That's going to bring a high level of confidence. Okay. And it says. Baba Kisha. Rebuke with all authority. So we can also rebuke. You got also have men that have told me in the past. Um, oh no this man he's been in this longer than you. You can't tell him anything. You can't. Oh, who, no that's wrong. You can Yes, you can, right? Okay. Yes, you can. And it says, Baba Kasha, let no man despise thee. Right? Let no man despise thee. Okay. So, no man's supposed to despise thee. Right? Yahawah. Yahawah by Shem, Yahawah Shai, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Strike that bird down. In the name of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of witchcraft going on. These crows as well. <sighs> right? But we have to stay on point with this truth. Stay on point. Stay balanced. Right? That's what the Lord loves. Right? Balance within this truth. Okay? You've got to be on point. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right? So with this, I'm going to shut off. And I'm going to move to my next destination. And until the next time, hey, shalom to the hope well. Shalom.